everyone. It's time for another art tutorial. Happy spooky month, by the way. Today, we're in for some monstrous art creation, which involves creating and drawing a new creature. I'll be showing you my process of creature creation, how I come up with ideas, what tools you can use, and how you can create one of your own. Now let's channel our inner Frankenstein and get creating. I'll be using Copic markers and fine liners for this creation, and a pencil for sketching. I'll also be using slightly thicker drawing paper, which helps the Copic markers absorb better into the paper. If you want to know how to use Copic markers, you can check out my Copic marker tutorial video down in the description. I'll show you how I come up with some ideas myself, and for this new creature today, I will also be using two online random creature generators, which I'll leave a link for down below as well. Creating something that doesn't exist might seem hard to achieve, but I'll give you one trick that can help you create whatever you want. A technique you can apply is combining two or three like subjects into one, like whether it's like three existing animals into one creature or one animal and one human and an object and you combine those three into like a creature and basically the possibilities are huge. Figure out a way to combine these three things into one being. Get creative with it. Another tool that can help is one that I'll be using today, and it's a random creature generator. I'll be using this one and that one for today, but there's so many more out there that you can pick and choose from. I'll mostly be using the creature generator for ideas because I'm gonna like pick whatever idea I like and combine them together. So I'm not fully gonna follow what the generator says, I'm just gonna pick little bits of ideas that I like. It's important for me that the creature still like fits into my own art universe, like things like colors and stuff like that I definitely will decide myself and probably some other other stuff, but I'm just using it for some nice ideas and I really recommend you try this as well. So yeah, this is technically gonna be the first time I'm gonna be working with a random monster slash creature generator. So I'm kind of excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Let's start! Okay, so I really like this one that I have in front of me right now. It feels like it's a little bit more up my alley, the type of ideas that I'm uh, looking for. So I'm just going to start with this one, and then I'm going to check out the other one that I showed you guys earlier, and see if that one maybe has some ideas for me as well. Um, you know what, I think... Give me seven monsters, because I just want seven special attributes or something like that. Like, give me seven ideas. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh Gor Gorgonox. A giant serpent with stone cold eyes that turn on lookers to stone. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll give my creature special eyes. Yeah, I, I will take one thing from this already. Special eyes. Rizalka. Water names from Slavic folklore, either benevolent or malicious, associated with lakes or ponds. I don't think I'm going to pick that idea, but that, that, is, that is cool. I like that. Flint Steel Basilisk. A basilisk with scales as tough as flint capable of sparking fires with its gaze. That just gave me an idea. What if I mix Gorgon... Gorg yeah. What if I mix Gorgonox with this flint scale basilisk? And what I mean is, instead of like turning people to stone when they look at you, they'll turn you into lava. Yeah, I think I will do that. I kind of like that. Now let's just read the rest. Gloom Spinner, a large spider that weaves webs of pure darkness. The pure darkness? I mean, no, I'm good. Shock. Ghostly black dogs from English folklore. Their appearance and on the phone. No, thank you. Okay, Wavecrest Seahawk. A seahawk that dances above the ocean, causing waves with each wing beat. I don't like that, but mm, now let's try out this uh, generator. Okay, that's sweet. Okay. Not give me unique form. Mm, unusual. I like that. Size. Large. Glass. Amphibian. Arander. Let's see. Let's just read it real quick. A large, unique amphibian with a knobbly head, two sandy yellow feline eyes, on rigid stalks. Honestly, I kind of like this already. No ears, a small nose, and a sharp hooked beak filled with small shark teeth. His giraffe-like neck and has two stubby, powerful arms. It is a sleek, powerful torso. It also has eight very large, stumpy wings. I'm not gonna lie. I, I actually really like this one. <laughs> it has two muscular legs and a fragile tail. Like, I'm not gonna pick everything, but I already like the majority of this, and I can I can mix this with the other generator stuff, and some of my own ideas added on top of that as well. 
Most of his body is brown with pastel green rings, while the rest of his body is pale red. Ooh. See, I'm, I might even pick some of the colors. But, like, if you want to, like, use these generators and just do exactly what it says, go ahead. It's it's going to be a really nice challenge. I'm going to try that probably in a future video as well, where I'm going to follow the exact, like, description. But you can also, just like me, you can, you can pick and choose what you want. Just know that that's an option. Render females make for life, but males are secretly promiscuous. You bastards. Ya bastards. Ah, ya bastards. The render normally lives in massive herds. Okay. They're usually found at high altitudes. Fighting is an important part of communication. Oh. When highly stressed, they can collapse and die easily. Same. Nah, I love this one. This one, I, I, I even relate to it. So yeah, we're picking this and the other generator stuff that we got, and we're just gonna start drawing. Please let me know if you use a generator like this, what choice you ended up making, and let me know how it turned out. It's handy to write down some of the stuff on a note. Then I finally start sketching, and I make sure that I have a reference photo open on my laptop of an African bullfrog. Don't be afraid to use references. I wanted this amphibian creature to definitely look a little bit grumpy, scary, but also a tiny bit shy at the same time. I love coming up with character traits or stories for these creatures. All right, there you go. We're done at least with the sketching part and I kind of went a little bit crazy. I shouldn't have like made that many thick lines, I guess. Other than that, I'm really happy with the design and I'm excited to add the line art. So yeah, let's get to the next step. I find that the act of doing line art is so relaxing, it's almost like meditative. Sometimes it becomes not meditative, I will admit, but most of the times it's, it's, it feels so good and I just really love doing it. Same goes for digital line art, that stuff is really satisfying to do as well. We're finally done with the line art and it's time to start the coloring process. I start by making sure that I'm coloring in areas which I already know the color of, like for example the green circles. I know I wanted to color them green, so I'm doing that first. From then on, I'm going to see which color kind of contrasts or fits that area nicely. to grab yourself a spooky little snack while creating. Creatives need fuel. Treat yourself. Now, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy this coloring time lapse together.
Okay, now we're almost done. All we have to do is just color in these parts right here and then add some more line art and then we'll add some of the finishing touches with some paint markers and more paint markers. <laughs> but yeah, I'm honestly like uh, halfway while creating this, in my head I was like, ooh, I'm not so sure if I like the colors. But now that I look at it, I, I think I'm in love. I'm very happy with how this turned out. So yeah, let's just finish it. As a last little step, don't forget to write your autograph. And now we're done. Alright, well, I'm very excited with how this turned out, and I'm quite surprised at how fun it was to use the creature generators for this. I hope this video inspires you to create a creature of your own, and that you're having fun while doing it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of it, and what you might like to see next. Thank you all, as always, so much for watching. I hope you liked all the tips and tricks that I gave to you in this video, and if you do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more art tutorials, art content, and so much more. And I hope to see you next time, and as always, Stay spooky and stay creative.